Hey parents, students, um, I wanted to put together a quick little video to demonstrate uh, a couple of the techniques that we're using here, um, just so that you guys had an idea and no one was left kind of out in the dark. Um, first part is completing the spiral review. You do have book pages 25 through 27. Uh, I won't show those, um, but those are usually pretty self-explanatory and the questions are not uh, too difficult at all. Make sure you reuse a complete sentence, please. And um, then we're going to complete the types of symbiosis activity. Uh, again, I'm not going to show all of it, but I at least want to show a couple. Um, that way you guys had an idea of what exactly to do here. Um, so the first one was talking about chicken that's injected with a growth hormone, while another chicken is not. Um, both of them are weighed after a year. So independent is the thing that we change. And then dependent is our measurement. And then constants stay the same. And then so this one shows you that the growth hormone is what we're changing. Obviously one has it, one does not. The dependent is what we measure. We're gonna measure the weight of the chickens. And then the things that stay the same are we're using the same chickens uh, and the same amount of time between the two tests. So for this one, uh, we're looking at a bug repellent is sprayed on the arm. Uh, the other arm is not sprayed. The number of bug bites is recorded after two hours. So the thing that we are changing is the uh, bug repellent. And then the thing that we are measuring is bug bites. And then our constants. Uh, we know that one of them is our time because it says two hours. Uh, and then the other one is that we are going to use the same person um, because everyone is a little different with bugs. Uh, we want to make sure that we are testing this on the same person um, so that way we are testing the actual repellent, not just whether a person is getting bit or not. Um, obviously, there are way more constants that can go on. So students, if you have one that is not one of mine, um, you kind of know the procedure, think through it. If you know it's correct, stick to it, have a reason why. Um, all right, I'll show you one more here. Um, Javier sleeps nine hours the night before his science exam. His twin sister has the same exam and sleeps six hours the night before the test. Afterwards, they compare their test scores. Uh, so the thing that we are changing is the amount of sleep. We are measuring their test scores. And then things that stay the same. Um, obviously, we would want to take the same test. And then number two, um, we're looking at something that could be such as um, maybe the same type of bed. I know I put same bed, let's do same type of bed. All right, try to fit that in there. Um, and obviously this one is a little harder for your constants. Uh, so make sure that you are kind of thinking through them. Um, it matters the same type of bed because if one person sleeps on a better bed than the other, obviously their quality of sleep is going to be different. Um, taking the same test, we know that um, we would want students to take the same test if we're going to measure those scores uh, and compare them. So um, you have a couple of those. Obviously, these get a little bigger. There's more information. They should be a little bit easier um, because there's more information. All right. Um, these are the book pages, uh, 25 through 27. Um, not gonna go too much into depth because they give you a ton of information on the pages. Um, you should be answering things down here. And then also the challenge. Um, we always do those in class. So let's keep up with staying consistent and making sure that we are getting those um, taken care of. Um, going through some of these students, this should be some review for you. Um, we've already talked about symbiosis. so. Um, this should be a little bit of review. You may learn something new, which is good. 
Um, but most of this should be review. Make sure you answer the question on the side. And then as it goes into the bottom, make sure you answer the one on the bottom as well. All right, um, getting into 27 here. Um, this one is your main activity page here. So it's gonna ask about the interactions. There they are up there. Uh, interactions here as well. And then uh, your third one is here. Um, and then it shows you the pictures on the side as well. So use what you can, figure those out. Um, students, you do not have to do the got it. Um, if you want to, great. Uh, but you do not have to at all. So make sure you get the others though, 3A, 3B, 3C. All right, uh, last one. Um, super simple, it's super explanatory here. We know that mutualism, we can use an M. Yes, I will let you abbreviate for this one. Uh, commensalism is a C and then parasitism is a P and then they all give you the definition here as well. Okay. So just giving you the first, uh, let's go like first four. So a tick living on a dog. We've talked about this one in class. We know that this is parasitism. The dog does not benefit. Okay. So one organism is benefited. That would be the tick. Um, and then we have to underline the animal that benefits, the organism that benefits. Um, and then put a square around unaffected and put a uh, circle around that are harmed. We are circling the dog. Ticks are not good for anybody, um, so the dog is affected. The honey guide bird, that is one species of bird. Leading the honey badger to the bee's hive, both eat the honey. Okay, so this would be uh, mutualism. So they're both involved, they're both helped here. Okay, so we are going to underline the honey guide bird and we are going to underline the honey badger. They're both helped. Uh, tapeworm, living in a high school student's intestines. Ew. Uh, this would definitely be parasitism, okay? Obviously the tapeworm is benefiting from living in the intestines, uh, and the high school student is the one that is harmed here. He is losing, he or she is losing nutrients um, due to the tapeworm taking them up. All right, number four, a bird building their nest in a tree. This one is commensalism, and we've talked about this one before. Um, reason being is bird is benefited, okay? And then we're going to put a square around the tree because it's not harmed at all. A bird building a nest in a tree is not uh, harming that tree whatsoever. Um, so I just wanted to give you uh, a quick uh, update on those. Students, make sure you put your names on things. I know I get on you that all the time. Um, so just make sure that you are uh, taking care of business at home. Uh, enjoy time with families. Um, make sure you guys are taking enough precautions as necessary for your family. Uh, and if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out. Um, I'll put the link of this on my mind so that way you guys can uh, access it and make sure that you have uh, a way to contact me as well. So, all right, enjoy your day today. Um, I'll try to post another one tomorrow. That way you guys get uh, the idea of what tomorrow's work is as well. All right, bye everyone.